Hello everyone, welcome to Logical Solutions. In this video, you will learn how to perform static analysis when parts are connected through welding. Here we have a piping system manufactured from ASI 1020 steel sheets, which is anchored to the steel wall. The other side of this segment is modeled as free, as it is loaded with 4mm vertical displacement applied at this free edge. So let's create a study and name it as Extreme Loading. Here we can observe that all the materials are applied. Now apply the thickness for shell parts. Select all the shell definitions, right click and select edit definition. Enter 5mm and click OK. Let's define edge wells. First we will define the edge well be between the first section of this pipe and the solid component representing the stiff steel wall. Right click on the corrections folder and select edge weld. Under weld type select fillet single sided edge. Select this face for face 1 and this face for face 2 and select this edge for intersecting edge as bead location. Specify the weld to be on side 1 under weld orientation. This will place the weld on the top surface of the shell. Under weld sizing choose American standards select E60 for the electrode. Enter 4mm for the estimated weld size. Keep the default value for safety factor and the weld strength field is populated automatically based on the selected electrode and click OK. Repeat this process for the remaining two edge welds. Create a fillet double sided edge weld between the pipe and support with the same properties as specified in the previous step and enter 4mm as the estimated weld size. Create a groove single sided edge weld between the two pipes with the same properties as specified in the previous step. Now let's restrain our model. Right click on fixtures, select fixed geometry and select these four faces and this particular bottom edge for supporting sheet. Now right click on fixture, select use reference geometry, select this edge for fixture and this edge for direction. And enter 4mm in reverse direction. Now mesh the model with curvature based mesh with default settings. So as we can see the shell elements are aligned properly. So this is good to run. So we have got so and so stress value for a displacement of 4 mm. Which we, have, which we have given it as an input. So due to this 4mm displacement, we have got a maximum stress value of 93 MPa at this particular weld regions. Let's check the weld results since we are more interested in whether the given weld bead thickness is enough or needs to be increased or decreased the thickness. So right click on the results and create a weld check plot. This plot says that the edge weld connector 2 and 3 are safe, but the edge weld connector 1 needs attention as the given well thickness is 4 mm but the simulation calculated result says that it does require 9.7 mm well thickness similarly for edge well connector 2 with 1.5 mm and edge well connector 3 with 2.5 mm thickness would be enough so friends this is all about edge well connectors thanks for watching this video please subscribe for our channel for latest updates in simulation for further queries, please contact.